this just in, Disney and Marvel just surprised us today with a bunch of new trailers and announcements. Holy crap. Today, I'm going to be reacting to the teaser slash trailers of the TV series WandaVision, Loki, and The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which will all be out next year in 2021. If you weren't aware, Disney recently held their annual Investors Day event virtually, which is where they announced to their shareholders and the public on new projects, as well as giving updates on current projects. I have a lot to say about these announcements, particularly the lack of Lizzie McGuire updates, but I will save my rent later on for another video. I will first react and give my commentary on the WandaVision trailer, followed by Loki, and finally, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where if you're interested, you can skip over to these timestamps right here if you want to check out my reactions to these two trailers right now. Before I start, I just want to give you all a quick background. I consider myself to be a casual fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Even though I've watched every film from all three phases of the MCU, I rarely go back and watch these films for the second or third time unless it's like Avengers Endgame or Captain America The Winter Soldier. So I'm not a Marvel expert by any means, I'm just someone who loves good storytelling and amazing visuals. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to my reaction to the second official trailer of WandaVision. I really like the premise of this and how it's paying homage to 60s sitcoms. It's really cool. Oh, that's so cute. Their chemistry is definitely off the chain. We just don't know what to expect. Oh, January 15th. That is so soon. That is like next month. Monica Rambeau. Who are you? I don't know. Oh, that is scary. <laughs> I wonder if all of this is happening because of some external force, or is Wanda imagining all of this in her head? This is so exciting. Ooh. Oh, the Mind Stone. Okay. It's back. That is so cool. Honestly though, this looks really interesting. However, I have no idea what's going to happen on this show. Out of all the three shows I'm reacting today, I'm definitely most hype about WandaVision to be honest. I've always gravitated towards characters that utilize magic like Wanda and Doctor Strange. So it's a real treat that we're getting this show really early, like next month early. And this show is supposed to be a scary show as well, so I heard. And I'm like, okay, that definitely sold me. Based on the official description of the show, WandaVision is supposed to take place after Endgame. So I'm curious to find out how Vision will come back to life, because correct me if I'm wrong, the Mind Stone was returned back to its timeline, which was in 2012 in New York by Captain America, at the end of Endgame. Unless of course Wanda might be imagining that Vision has come back to her because this show is supposed to explore Wanda's mental health and illness which takes inspiration from the original comics. I will now react to the exclusive clip of Loki coming to Disney Plus in May of 2021. Okay. So we're back to the scene of him escaping in Endgame. Wait for it. Boom! <laughs> this scene shook me when I first saw it. So where is he going? 
Okay, so he's in a desert. Um. Who the heck are these people? Exactly, his face says it all. Wait, who is this guy on the left? He looks so familiar. Wait, he's somebody I know, right? He's somebody that we all know. He looks so familiar, but I can't quite get his name. I had to find out. Who is she? TVA. What is that? There's so much going on on this trailer. Is that Natasha? Is he gonna save her in whatever universe she's in? I have no idea what's happening, you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his outfit, he looks so weird. Is he running for president? Loki for president. Okay, that was really nice. First of all, I need to know who that person is who's next to Loki in that elevator scene, so I need to find out, like, right now. I'm scrolling down the comments. Owen Wilson? Owen freaking Wilson, are you kidding me? I can't believe I did not recognize him in this trailer, dang. He looks so different. I think the last time I've watched Owen Wilson in the film was in Marley and Me or Night at the Museum 2. I think it was called The Smithsonian. Oh my god. Mind blown. Okay, so based on the official description right here, Loki is going to do some time traveling with the Tesseract, which holds the Space Stone, which would allow him to travel between different alternate realities or dimensions. But the question is, which alternate reality is he going to go to? I have a feeling that he will go to multiple ones. And I'm reading here on my notes that he will also be trapped in a crime thriller, which I guess TVA or whatever that is has something to do with it. And finally, I will now react to the teaser of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The legacy of that shield is... complicated. Is he even going to use the shield? Hmm. Who is she? March. So we're getting these shows back to back. January, March, and May. Wow. A Captain America parade? Yeah, out of all the trailers, this definitely is the most action-heavy one. So no plan. Right. That is so cool. Oh my god. 
This looks awesome. That's so smooth. Oh my god. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What's going on in that cyborg brain of yours? You don't want to know. Oh yeah, I can see it working. Gears turning. Oh, they're malfunctioning. <laughs> Oh my god, I definitely need to see more of that on the show. Okay, that was really funny. So, this show is supposed to be about Sam Wilson learning how to deal with his new responsibility in taking up the mantle of Captain America. Um, it's nice to see that Bucky has also joined him on whatever mission or adventures he's going on as well. I don't really have much to say about this trailer just because it's mostly an action-packed trailer, so there's nothing much to really talk about, well, at least in my case. Anyways, I want to thank all of you for watching my reaction to the three trailers recently posted by Disney and Marvel Entertainment. After this, I will be posting a separate video to talk about specific announcements by Disney that really caught my attention. Mainly, I want to touch upon Disney Animation and Pixar Animation Studios projects, so please stay tuned for that video later in the day. Other than that, please like and share this video if you can. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can check out more of my reaction videos or even video essays that I post on the different TV shows and movies that I love. I want you all to have a great day ahead and I will see you all next time. Bye!